What would actually happen if an asteroid was on a collision course with our planet? If you don't know, hundreds of pieces of space rock fall through our atmosphere every single year, but luckily they burn up on entry or simply aren't large enough to have any noticeable impact. However, there's evidence to suggest that the Earth has experienced several large strikes throughout its history, so there's every possibility that it could happen again. To prepare ourselves for the worst case scenario, NASA has been running a series of tests to see how well prepared we are. And unfortunately for us, we're not. Every day, more than 100 tons of dust and small particles fall to the Earth, and on average, a car-sized object enters the atmosphere once a year and burns up, creating an amazing fireball streaking through the sky. Larger objects about the size of a football field collide once every 2,000 years, and a potential extinction-level collision is thought to happen every few million years, which would make one long overdue. Generally, anything less than 82 feet across will burn up and cause very minor damage. Anything measuring up to half a mile across will cause significant damage to the impact site. Anything larger than that could have worldwide consequences. Currently, the largest known potentially dangerous object in space is Tautatus, which is just over three miles across. And there's an asteroid known as Apophis, which is expected to pass incredibly close to Earth in 2029. That's 1,213 feet wide. There are, though, much larger objects in space that we know of, but luckily aren't currently on a collision course with Earth. In the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, for example, there are some that are as much as 583 miles long. If one of these were to divert course towards us, we could be in some serious trouble. So, to prepare for such an event, NASA is working with space agencies across the world to simulate an impact, something they do every couple years. Basically, they want to learn how much warning we'd get, how people would react, and whether there's anything that could be done to protect people. And to do this, fictional scenarios was created that begin with the discovery of a near-Earth object in March of 2019, with initial signs that it could make an impact with the Earth in 2027. In the lead-up to the Planetary Defense Conference, which took place in early May of 2019, further information was released about the asteroid. This included details about its eccentric orbits, uncertainty about its composition, and refined predictions about its exact path, which suggests the odds of a collision are about 1 in 100. With its orbital path, the asteroid would remain observable for the rest of the year before fading from view and requiring larger telescopes to monitor. Delegates at the conference were then tasked with planning how resources can be dedicated to learn more about the asteroid. The options ranged from training more telescopes on it while it's in range, the potential for launching a spacecraft to monitor it more closely, and if the worst is confirmed, options for how its path could be deflected. Others focused more on the societal impact of such a discovery. With eight years of planning, governments would be able to build safe zones, perhaps underground where people could be protected from an impact. Of course, the effectiveness of these would really depend on the exact point of impact and how severe the impact was, something that reinforces the importance of finding out much more about the asteroid, its trajectory, and the materials that it's made from. Finally, there's the question about when the information about a near-Earth object is released to the public. With odds of a collision being calculated as 1 in 100, it's still a remote possibility, and it could be irresponsible to tell everyone if it were to cause massive panic. Law enforcement and emergency services would need to be prepared for the public reaction, and the timing at which information like this is released would be crucial. So basically, while it may seem like the space agencies are indulging in games of science fiction, projects like these are incredibly important. There's always a chance that a large object could strike our planet, and we really don't don't know how much warning we'll actually get. Scenarios like this help emergency planners such as those at FEMA understand what information would be available to them and what their options may be. While we're not at the level of concern seen in movies like Armageddon and Deep Impact yet, it's best to be prepared. So if you're drilling off the coast somewhere for oil, you might be called upon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below, do you think an asteroid will end our world as we know it? Or it might be things like plastic straws or maybe the robot apocalypse. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.